Welcome back. February 17th, National Cabbage Day. Today, I'm doing an old, standby, classic, comfort food stuffed cabbage. Found a bunch of recipes online. I found one that says it's his grandma's recipe and it's the greatest stuffed cabbage you could ever have. All right. <laughs> My mom's been making stuffed cabbage for a long, long time and she does it the way she does it. So today, we're gonna try this version that I found online and we'll see if his grandma beats my mom. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, let's get started today. Okay, so the first thing we want to do today is get a, your big soup pot or a big pot um, of water boiling, salted water. Got to soak our cabbage head. Okay, so make sure your cabbage will fit into whatever pot you're using. Then what you want to do is cut this core out. Okay, so you just want to be careful when you're doing it. Okay, just make like on an angle, go in and just cut the core up. But just be careful you don't slice yourself or your leaves because you want your leaves as intact as possible because that's what we're rolling with today. Okay, so you just kind of cut around and your core pops right out. Okay, and then once you see your water is boiling, just want to turn it down to a low simmer. And we're going to put our Okay, so once you see your water is boiling, just turn it down to a simmer. Okay, so once your water is boiling, Carefully put your head of cabbage into your pot of water, turn it to a simmer, and just put it core side down in and cover it. You're going to leave it for about 10 minutes or so to really steam and cook your cabbage, okay? And then once, once you see that, it's, that the leaves are just peeling away, you want to make sure we take those out, okay? Okay, and then once you see your cabbage is pretty much done, you want to just make sure you take it out. It's very tricky to handle because it's hot. Okay, so I'm using double tongs here. Put that into our bowl, but keep your water hot because as you, peel away, as you let this cool down and you peel away the couple layers off the top that you're going to use to roll your cabbages, the ones further in might need a few more minutes in the pot. So just keep your pot of water on a simmer while we peel this uh, cabbage. Okay? As you can see, it's pretty loose. And the leaves, although hot, come right off. Okay? So we're going to take a bunch of these off and put them on a plate. And let them cool down for rolling later. Alrighty? Let's get to that. See you in a bit. Okay, so for the next step of this recipe, we're going to get our sauce ready, okay? So I have about two tablespoons of butter that are melting in there, okay? And we're just going to saute some garlic. So once our garlic is nice and browned, what I did was I took my food processor and I processed a 35-ounce can of tomatoes uh, and puree it down, okay? A plum tomato, peeled plum tomato. So now what I'm going to do is add this tomato mixture to my pan and splash it all over the place. Which is okay, because it ain't cooking unless you make a mess. <laughs> a mess can always be cleaned up. And a good kitchen mess is the sign of a good meal. It tells whoever's eating it when they see that mess, wow! 
He went to a lot of trouble to make this dish. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, and then once you have that, what you're going to add to this, which has sounded weird to me, but I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who are going to say, oh yeah, that's what you do. A uh, quarter cup of brown sugar, I guess to sweeten our sauce, and some lemon juice. Uh, juice of one whole lemon. We're adding to our sauce. Just going to whisk that all together. Never heard of that. I guess that's how you make this sauce. I'm just following a recipe. So we're all going to find out together at the end if this recipe is good or not. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you have made stuffed cabbage before and you have your own method that you do. Now, obviously, you want to always make sure you're tasting for salt and pepper, which this desperately needs. So while our sauce is simmering on the stove and cooking down for about 10-15 minutes or so, we're going to put our stuffing together for our cabbage, okay? So it's two pounds of ground beef. We're going to add a minced small onion, the whole onion, but chopped up as fine as you can. If you can food process it, it's even better, okay? We're going to do two cloves of garlic, minced as well, about two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. We have a half a cup of cooked white rice, okay? Just going to kind of break that up. We made that in our rice cooker, which again, if you don't have one, great thing to have. Um, so we let that cool down. And now we're just going to add two eggs. That's going to bind this whole thing together. Alrighty. So we're just going to get in there and mix this up. There's our stuffing mixture for our cabbage, okay? Now what you're going to have to do is, before you actually start rolling and stuffing, is take your cabbage leaves and you've got to cut you see this real stalky end part? You gotta cut this off. Cause that's gonna make it really hard for you to roll and you don't want that. So you just make kind of like a little V cut. Just cut just that stem part off, see? So now you'll be able to roll this a lot easier. So we're gonna do that with all of our cabbages first and then we'll be back to rolling stuff, all right? Everything's ready to go. Our cabbage cups are all ready to be rolled. Okay, so we're just going to take a nice generous scoop of our stuffing here. Try to shape it into a nice center there. Just going to fold the little flaps over. Fold in the sides. Like as if you're rolling an egg roll. And then roll. Your, it looks like a little egg roll. Okay. Okay, so we're just about there. So what we're going to do now is take some of our tomato sauce and we're going to put that in the bottom of the casserole dish first. Okay, because we want to have a nice layer of, of the sauce on the bottom. Okay. So then once you have your sauce laid, here's all our rolls, and you're going to put them all seam side, where the opening is, seam side down. Okay? And just lay them all out inside our casserole dish. Once you have all your rolls here in your pan, you're just going to put the rest of your sauce over the top of this. Okay? And that's it. There's our stuffed cabbage. Now what you're going to do is cover this and it's going to go into a 350 oven for two hours, okay? So sit back, have a glass of wine or something, or two, <laughs> and then it'll be ready in a couple hours, all right? Anxious to try this one. I've had stuffed cabbage many, many times that my mom makes, but she's been doing it the way she does it for Ever. So I'm anxious to try a different recipe and see how this one is. Alrighty, see you in a little while. So our stuffed cabbage came out of the oven. We let it sit for a little bit just to cool down. Looks really good. So we're gonna take one out of here, plate that up. Mm. 
sauce is really good too. See, and I, here I was thinking, oh no, this brown sugar sauce, what the heck is that going to be? <laughs> but actually it tastes pretty good. Okay. So there, well, one piece anyway, I'm not, I'll have some more later, but just for the taste test. Oh yeah, you got a nice, turn that around for you, see the nice filling in there? Okay, let's give this a taste. Some of the sauce and cabbage. Mm. Wow, this is really good. I thought that whole brown sugar thing was going to make the sauce really too sweet, but no, it really works well. And I'm guessing when the stuffed cabbage was cooking, that because the meat went in raw uh, in the stuffing, that it had to cook inside. So I'm assuming a lot of the juice from the meat went into the sauce and just, you know, flavored the whole thing, which is perfect. I mean, it really came out great. Yeah. I'm really digging this. It's really good. Now, I did cut down the the cooking time because initially I said two hours but I'm thinking that was because in his recipe he put the rice in raw and let the rice cook in the stuffing rather than using cooked rice I chose to do cooked rice because I was afraid if it didn't work out right and the rice didn't cook all the way through now what do you do you know what I mean now you wasted all this other stuff because I'm not gonna sit there and eat crunchy raw rice <laughs> I don't know if that's what would have happened or not, but anyway, I didn't want to find out when it was too late. But anyway, really good today. Now, is it as good as my mom's? I don't know. I think it's just different because I really like the way my mom does hers. But anyway, cabbage day today. So you can stuff cabbage. You can do just whatever. Corn beef and cabbage, although you're going to be doing that next month anyway. Uh, yeah, something with cabbage. Great idea. Alrighty. Have a great cabbage day, everybody. See you tomorrow.